Are you aware that when Neil Armstrong landed the lunar module, there were only 30 seconds of fuel left? Yikes! A handful of side stories are often overlooked along the way to achieving the July 20, 1969 audacious vision by the three astronauts. From the moon dusk that was deep gray, fine-grained and extremely clingy to the Krispy Kreme's donut served to Americans who had gathered to witness the liftoff of this monumental mission, here are the top 10 untold secrets about the Apollo 11 moon landing. Let's get started with our number 10. The moon had an unusual scent. In 1962, John F. Kennedy challenged the nation to land a man on the moon. By July 20, 1969, Neil Armstrong, Michael Collins, and Edwin Aldrin Jr. hopped on the challenge to become the first people to land on the moon and walk the lunar surface. The biggest question running through the NASA team planning the Apollo 11 moon landing was what the moon's surface would be like. Would the lander's legs be firm on the ground, or would they sink into something soft? Interestingly, the surface was solid, but the real surprise was that the moon emitted an odor. As Neil Armstrong and Aldrin pressured the lunar module, the clingy lunar dirt had clung to their suits into the cabin, giving a horrible smell that the astronauts described as a burned smell like wet fireplace ashes. You would have never thought the moon had such a smell, although it only lasted for a short while. Number 9. The moon landing was predicted to be a disaster. As a result of the enormity of the mission, the astronauts were hypothetically said not to be able to make it out of the moon alive. It was declared outright by the speechwriter William Sapphire to deliver in the wake of a disastrous moon landing. Fate ordained that men who went to the moon to explore in peace will stay on the moon to rest in peace. This was, however, replaced by Neil Armstrong's famous words after the successful mission, One Giant Leap for Mankind. Number 8. Trouble at the landing on the moon as a result of miscalculations. Since everything on the moon is unpredictable, slight mistakes are non-negotiable. For example, the astronauts were allegedly supposed to cut the engines when the lander was a few feet from the surface, because NASA created the lander with legs that would crumble upon the impact to absorb the shock. But ace pilot Armstrong and his team devised a means to ensure the lander's legs remained firm after landing. How? The astronauts decided to exit the lander several feet higher than intended. Had it been Armstrong didn't handle the spacecraft manually as they were literally on a countdown to dying, the world may have immortalized the hypothetical speech of William Sapphire. Number 7. The astronauts were not left off the process of customs and security checks. Surprised? After the ordeal and journey on the moon landing, the astronauts returning to Earth were made to go through rigorous customs processes, sign papers, security checks, and of course, quarantine. NASA was afraid of moon germs. Thus, following the astronauts' arrival from the moon on July 27, 1969, they were forced to quarantine for over two weeks in a modified Airstream trailer with a physician and a technician to kill off any dangerous lunar microorganisms that would have clung on to them. You might have thought the astronauts would have just been left off the hook and celebrated for landing safely. But sorry to disappoint you, no one is above the Monday paper processing and security. Number 6. Aldrin first emptied his bladder into the space. Neil Armstrong was the first to step foot on the moon, but Edwin Aldrin Jr. holds the bragging right as the first man to urinate on it. So take that to the bank. Upon arrival on the moon, Edwin Aldrin promptly emptied his bladder into his spacesuit's internal urine collector. Unfortunately, the urine collector broke when the ace pilot made his higher-than-expected leap from the eagle, leaving Aldrin's boots filled with pee. Fully aware that an estimated 650 million people worldwide watched the same televised image, Aldrin kept that bit of information to himself, Berman says. Number 5. Properties were left behind Although the three astronauts returned to Earth unharmed, they left plenty of artificial materials on the moon. Some items are retro reflectors, Apollo lunar surface, United States flags, the Apollo 11 goodwill messages, golf balls, and the silver astronaut pin they left by Alan Bean in honor of Clifton C. Williams, whom he replaced. Some junk items include hammers, television cables, cameras, urine, defecation collection devices, and tongs. Check the NASA website for a compiled list of every single item left behind on the moon. Number 4. NASA Captured the Lunar Landing in HD Broadcast The first video released by NASA was actually captured in higher quality than we ever saw. But unfortunately, commercial television stations couldn't broadcast the video format. As a result, NASA used a scan converter to adapt the video recording for U.S. broadcast signals. Still, when the images appeared on home television sets, the feed was substantially degraded. It's 2022 already, so I believe most clips have been digitally revised and can be played in your home. So get your hands on those and share your beautiful experience later on this channel. Number 3. The first words on the moon were, OK, engine stop. You might have heard that the first word on the moon was, that's one small step for man, uttered by Neil Armstrong, right? Well, sorry to burst your bubble because that's not correct. Aldrin was the first man to speak on the moon. He simply said, OK, engine stop. 
when the lander touched down. Media houses less flogged the quote, maybe it wasn't nearly as stunning, just maybe. Number 2. The crew did not provide life insurance It turns out that the insurance company did not have faith in NASA or the Apollo 11 crew, which makes the insurance astronomical and expensive. The astronauts, however, had a good plan against that they signed 100 postal covers in case they didn't survive the mission. Their families could earn a living out of them. If they did not return from the moon, their families could sell them, to not just fund their day-to-day -day lives, but also fund their kids' college education and other life needs," Perlman said. Number 1. Your cell phone is more powerful than Apollo 11's computers While the Apollo guidance computer systems used by Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins to the moon and back in July 1969 were high-level IT development for the time, House Chronicles revealed that their technology is primitive compared to today's smartphones. For example, the article illustrates the Samsung Galaxy S10 Smartphone 6, featuring 8GB of memory, to be light years ahead of the Apollo 11's computer. Do you feel that Apollo 11 is the greatest thing we humans have ever done? Let us know in the comments section below. And also don't forget to check out our other binge-worthy content popping out right now on the left and right sides of your screen. See ya!